on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Hey Kevin, I don't think I've said it yet on this trip, but buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> we are just, look at that thing, that thing is so cool. We're up and at it boys. 6 a.m. Well, last job. We're closer to the track today, so we don't have to get up as early. Got to pop the hood. Last of valves at 10 thou. And then we are done with that for racing. We'll have a little drive to the track. We'll get there. Valves will be good. That's our morning routine. Last of valves. And then you got to last of valves for the street drive. Then you got to put them back in race mode. So that's why we keep doing that. But uh, we get to the track, change the oil, you know, taking really good care of this engine, or at least trying to. So. We can only get six cylinders up and going right now. For some reason, we got two dead on this side. I think it might be our beat up plug wires, but not sure yet. Ran when parked. Not sure what happened overnight. All right, well, we changed out a couple spark plugs. So guys, for some reason, we think we have a coil problem. We got like hot coils on that side. These ones are nice and cool. So we may be in a yeah, floor's pinch cold. here. Six is hot. There should be plenty of people with coils at the track though. Maybe we can borrow some, slap them on and run it type deal. I don't know. All right, well, we swapped some coils around. Let's see if uh, we get some heat in cylinder six, which hasn't fired all morning. Go ahead. bad coils i feel like that may be a part of our other electrical gremlins that we've been having well, if they don't have anywhere to dump the spark like say when it fired up this morning like the plugs were really wet and fouled yeah it can lead to hurting the coils is what i've heard a man and his spark plugs and his rice crispy treats <laughs> So guys Midwest Drag Week has a summit racing trailer that follows the race track to track they had a full set of eight smart coils in their trailer so one of the summit guys is running it over we're gonna slap them on and we should be good to go all right delivery via hellcat we now have full set smart coils we're dialed right when you are Yesterday, probably. 
the dumbest thing you can do at a drag strip. Basically the cardinal sin of drag racing. We left the oil cap freaking off. And that's what shot all that oil on the exhaust, created the smoke, made a mess. Drag racing was down for a little bit, which we feel really bad about, but uh, they're back up and going. So we're gonna get back in line and, and let some people run. Try again. Put our heads down a little bit. Hey, at least we know it won't take the hit we had in it. Not when it's in its own oil for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Sun's coming out though, so maybe the track will get you know, a little better. All right, well, combination of spinning the tires, oil, whatever. We still turned it down a little bit because we don't think the track's going to be able to take a 7 0 hit. So let's see what it does. He just straight up crashed. Holy smoke. That sucks. Yeah, this guy just got something under his tires from his own launch. Right when he launched, a bunch of fluid launched out, got right under his tire, and boom. They just prepped a little bit, so hopefully we can get down through there. But we still slowed the car down from the first attempt because it kind of tore up the starting line. Let's see how it does here. found part of the problem there's a lot of water in our doors that's why I went so hard right I was like dang that went hard right yeah it was like looking at the graph it's smooth smooth like rock it up which we did from the trash control off there you go whoops that might be part of the issue so all that water is from the door Holy Toledo, we, we drilled the drains though, we never did that. Gotta have drains. Hey, they're out there making a full pull with the sprayer. I know, that's so exciting. <laughs> I would love to not spin the tires. That'd be cool, right? That'd be awesome. <laughs> All right, Molly, let's do this. Had a boy.
we probably could have been spicier on the tune-up. Track was good. We probably could have been spicier. It's all good. We got her down through there, boys. That was about too much freedom for me to stop. Barely made the turn off. Yeah. Good thing those Motion Raceworks parachutes got all the stopping powers. I love having compression after a pass like that, dude. That's why I bought the big block. We can run it like this and it's happy. Man, the brakes are squishy. I do the these TBM brakes, dude. The parachutes were not enough. The brakes are working hard on that pass. 701 at 208! I think if we throw 100 RPM at the leave, or maybe a pound of boost at the leave, it's got some room to go in that 60 foot. I think the track will hold it. For sure. I mean, if we just pick up one number to the 60 foot, it'll go with six, so. Yeah. 315, dude, 465 at 165. Horsepower, brother. Let's see if we can go 210. What the heck, why not? Well, the shutdown's pretty challenging for me, and the brakes. So let's, <laughs> let's not spice the mile per hour up any more than we have to. All right, so all early. All right, big cool down coming up, boys. This just in, people. Our first pass holding 30 pounds of boost. 209, baby. Almost 209 miles an hour. Well, well, you got until 40, so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't want to go anywhere. I know, I know. We want to go quicker, quicker. All right, you ready? Shorten yeah. up our boost ramp. Mm -hmm. Ate some more gummy bears? Just a little more is all we need, buddy. As long as it starts with the sticks. Let's go. You ready? I'm ready, brother. Let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Take it. Thank goodness for these brakes. <laughs> that felt good. Kevin's not smiling. Wasn't what I was hoping for. Oh. But. Trigger's still okay. <laughs> yes! How dare you to play with my emotions like that? <laughs> Hey, we got our 699. I was hoping for about a 95 based off the changes I made, but 
Dude, it's okay. What did we want this week? A six. There we got it. And we freaking got it. Woo! We may have barely got it, but we got it. We barely got it, but we got it. 208, dude. Yeah. That shut down, not enough for 208. <laughs> Don't try that at home, kids. <laughs> Kev, look, 124.60 foot, nice and slow through there. Yeah, very soft. And then a 313, 330. You know when it went a six the first time, it went a 30, like 303. 10th slow to the 330, 462 in the eighth at 165. Sweet. 699, baby, let's go. Sweet. Let's pack it up, we gotta go to Edgewater. Yeah, we do. Fire me up, come on guys. Fire me up. Well, after melting lots of plug wires, we have our solution. Yeah, fire cores. Yeah, we got some fire cores with the high temp boot and a shield to go over them. That should help do the trick. Dang, these are fancy, dude. Yeah, that's the pro mod ones. Those are super nice. Ah, you know, just filling up our six second street car. Right. Official six second street car. I mean, it was official before, but now that we've done it in competition, it feels even, a little better. Even better. 208 mile an hour street car or something. Hey, you want to give this uh, hitch an inspection real quick? Underneath there. Okay. Before we head off, yeah, let me just finish this one up. There we go. 10 gallons or so, and we'll be good. What do you estimate our fuel mileage is? I don't know. Eight or nine. Eight or nine. Sounds about right. I haven't really tried to work on the tune up much to make it hyper, uh, hyper miler or anything. Yeah. How bad is it? Put a bunch of stuff in the bed of the truck versus in the trailer. I'm trying to get some weight off that tongue. This freaking axle is so far back. We got a crack in our hitch mount. Ripping down the road. Kevin's back at the wheel. Just knocking down some miles as we pull into Cincinnati. It's a beautiful night. We're actually racing in the morning tomorrow at Edgewater. Hopefully, uh, track prep's a little bit better. Car's running good. We've got to make it there. All righty, we're at our checkpoint. Profiler came here last year. Car's rocking, dude. Tilling it. Fantastic. Yep, doing awesome. So we're getting some drinks, checking out some cylinder heads, and hitting the road. Got another hour, and then we're done. Done driving, at least. Buddy, successful day. We got our six. Sure did. Got to the hotel with oil pressure <laughs> and eight cylinders. So that's a win. Big win. Shoo -wee. All right, we're going to get some rest, get some editing in, and uh, hit it hard tomorrow. We are leading Midwest Drag Week right now. We have a 200 mile an hour average, I think a 7 3 <laughs> average, which is freaking amazing. Thanks for watching New Fail. We will freaking see you later.